Okay, this is the rack and pinion system from a 96 Chevy Camaro, and that's what we use to um, convert this to power steering. And then we use a Toyota MR2 pump, power steering pump. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's that's the pump we use, and we can get power steering out of the uh, Fiero uh, donor car. We're also going to do, or we we're setting up both cars for uh, air conditioning also. So we ran new air conditioning lines and had to reconfigure some stuff to get the uh, condenser to fit in there. And uh, we've got all the modern day conveniences of a sports car. Power steering, air conditioning, fuel injection, paddle shift, uh, pretty much everything you could possibly want in a Lambo. So it takes a little more time, a little more money, but it's all said and done. I think it'll be worth it. What you're looking at right there is the paddle shift uh, mechanism for the paddle shifting system that we're installing in this car. Uh, there's the, the computer for it, master shift. That's who makes this paddle shift system. We've got it all wired up. You can look here back in the engine bay. This box here has some uh, mechanisms in there that that move this shift cable to put the car in the different gears connects to the transmission that's normally where your cable would run up to the console we've taken out the the normal shifter that would be there that's not necessary anymore now that we've got the paddle shift system this is an automatic transmission so what what's going to happen is the you can see right there you've got the um, gear indicator. Now this, these gauges are temporary. There's going to be a digital Reventon style gauge overlay and we'll install that, um, that gear selector um, indicator in the digital overlay. So you won't see you know, the little bezel around it or anything. All you'll see is the digital readout telling you what gear you're in. And then you'll use those paddles to shift up and down through the gears and out of park and into neutral and reverse and so forth. And there's safety features built in to the computer that won't allow this to shift into reverse or, you know, downshift um, to a point where it would redline the engine. So there's a lot of built-in safety features. A little bit tricky to wire. Uh, a couple days worth of figuring it out. This is the first time we've ever installed the paddle shift system so it took uh, took a little bit of trial and error but it's gonna work fine. Um, we've also got a set of OEM Lamborghini Murcielago paddles that we're gonna replace these aluminum paddles with OEM Lamborghini paddles. But at first we'll get it all put together and we'll test it using these paddles that came with the uh, with the kit and then we'll just cut off the aluminum paddles and and graft in um, bolt on the Lamborghini ones we'll still use all of the mechanisms here to activate the shifting features um, but it'll just have the OEM Lamborghini look and we also have a OEM steering wheel that will replace this old Fiero steering wheel and like I mentioned the gauges will all come out so there's a significant amount of work yet to do there. So I'm going to do a quick summary for those of you that have been watching the project. It does seem like it's taking a while to get to the stage of mounting the reventing bodies on these chassis. And so there's a lot of bells and whistles that we decided to do on this car that really aren't necessary if you wanted to do a, a reventing build and keep it simple. Um, we would have the bodies mounted and the cars probably finished by now. Um, 180 degree headers took about a week to figure out, a week or two to really get it all put together and working, um, but it really gave us a nice high pitch sound to the exhaust. I'm still testing some different muffler ideas, but all in all the high pitch rev 
is what we were trying to achieve and these headers did the trick. Um, under the air filter, normally a carburetor would be there feeding the fuel into the engine. This is actually a computer controlled fuel injection system from a company called FAST, F-A-S-T. Fuel Air Spark Technologies is what FAST stands for. It's owned by Comp Cams. They make most of the racing cams. They bought FAST and uh, this is probably the simplest fuel injection system there is. And this computer here controls the, uh, the fuel injection and it really does program itself. There's really no tuning or programming required. Um, once you've installed the system and ran the car for a couple miles, it, uh, it tunes itself to get optimal air fuel ratios and so forth. So the fuel injection took a few days to install, the, again the headers. Um, we're also doing a power steering system in this car. Uh, those of you that know the Pontiac Fiero um, understand that Fieros didn't have power steering. So what you see here, it's kind of kind of dark and hard to see, but that's a Toyota MR2 power steering pump. And that's what we're using to, to pump the fluid through the power steering system. And then your rack and pinion uh, comes from a 1996 Chevy Camaro. And then you can you can really pretty easily put together power steering system on a uh, Lambo car with the Fiero as your donor. So these are just some of the things we did that added some extra time to the project. Um, but I think all in all, when it's all finished, it's going to be worth the wait. And of course, we've got um, custom suspension and wide track system and some other bells and whistles that um, added extra time to, you know, preparing the chassis, getting it ready to um, to build on. We we went with a MSD ignition system. Now between that and this fuel injection, you can you can use a crate uh, GM 350 or 383 or as big as a 406 V8 engine and you'll have fuel injection, you'll have a good ignition spark system. All of those things give you that modern V8 uh, functionality. A lot of the, you know, the carbureted V8s, um, they don't fire right up. You gotta adjust the carburetors, you gotta do all kinds of stuff. They get good horsepower, um, but just not real practical driving experience. And so, you know, by going with the fuel injection and the good MSD ignition box, and of course these these headers and exhaust really give it a modern uh, sports car sound feel and um, you know the the drivability and of course the horsepower. So those are just some of the things that slowed us down a little bit. We'll have the paddle shift system and the power steering system working um, next week, and this car will be drivable without a, a shift arm. It'll be just controlled by the paddles and we'll have power steering and we'll have some of these um, modern day features fully functional and working. Here's another look at the box that comes with the master shift system. Um, it takes a little bit of adjustment to get it to work with the transmission that you're using, um, but all in all, it's not difficult to install. A little bit expensive, I um, believe it was about $2,000 for that system, um, but if you want paddle shift, that's the easiest way to do it, one of the only ways to do it, really. So there you go. hope you're enjoying the videos, and we should have some reventing bodies mounted, hopefully within the next uh, coming week. Thanks for watching.